episode we do something a little different today and compared to doing a road eater for a perimeter we're going to actually be digging one with this machine back here this is not going to actually be digging this is going to be for a storage uh isn't get by the blocks we need so we have uh, lapis diamond gold and redstone that all get just put into chests because you're not going to get more than any of that for any of that stuff for this amount of area now we have an overflow chest currently but that's because we don't have some of the filters hooked up because we're still in the process of getting some of the ores in uh like 13 stacks is what we need to set the filters but yeah we got some stone already coming in uh both of these we got some andesite diorite uh granite some gravel some coming in some grass and a bunch of dirt and then those ores as like i said we have uh, picks shovels rockets food all sitting here and yeah, so uh, we're going to be digging this 208 diameter circle here, centered around a chunk. So uh, yeah, that basically is going to give us a, not a full perimeter, but it's what we need for the farm we're going to do here. And we need to have a nine by nine chunk area. So instead of just doing a road eater for that area, uh, we decided to just dig it and rim was the main one that was pushing for a dig to get uh his digs up so that's what we're doing here yes it's gonna take some more time uh than an actual world eater but i think all in all it's going to be uh different to actually have a circle uh here instead so uh i do i do want to do one uh dig like this project so if this goes well, maybe we do more in the future, but uh, like I said, it's my first time doing an actual circle perimeter like this compared to an actual road eater. So uh, yeah, gonna get some haste two mining in. It's always gonna be satisfying, but once we get past this grass layer, I think I'm gonna enjoy it a lot more. But this, it was not even close to being flat before. Yeah, if I find a picture, I'll put it uh, here, but uh, compared this to this now, it was kind of difficult to get it all flat in the circle that we wanted on the outside but yeah so uh, it's gonna be a pain to get the stuff we need uh, here besides the villagers but anything else it's gonna be quite a pain to get like 3,000 or so blocks uh, to here and we have a sorter we could put a chunk loader but uh, we have the chunk loader ready to go but we just don't have any uh, portal linking because we're gonna miss uh, interfere with this portal down here. So if you do this correctly, you want to put this at the top of the world. Uh, that way, you can link the jungle loader to itself and have the player portal still. But uh, we have the bots, so we don't really need a player portal when the MSVT is still really low. But yeah, let's get to some digging. We'll probably get some time time. We'll probably get to some time lapses, and probably get a bunch of streams doing this. I do have a 12 hour stream coming up soon, so we're probably working on here throwing some of that. Definitely not all of it, uh, but yeah. So, digging is to commence, and what we got here is this water stream here. Uh, so, pretty much what we do is we fill up an inventory, or you can fill shulker boxes up, throw them down to the beacon. You can see there's a little bit of water down there. So, this is called a dig sort, and basically, what it does is uh, as you dig, you just throw the items down the water stream here. And they'll all connect to the central one up here and they'll all go up to the storage area where they get filtered out and sorted which is why it's called a dig sort so yeah very useful for digging lots of projects or a lot of dig projects if you want to collect all the items and stuff so uh, yeah basically what i want to do this for is the ores and a bit of grass and dirt so we don't have any farms for that uh, i guess like the other rare ores or uh stone types we can keep as well and stones is always good to have because you don't got to smelt the cobblestone. So that's the only other uh, reason why we're doing it, I guess. I, I, I don't know. But it is definitely cool to actually, you know, store the items. Bit of a pain to always empty your inventory, though. So, uh, yeah, other than that, let's get to some digging. And we'll come back once we have some progress. All right, so for this dig, uh, we didn't need to use quite... Uh, a good amount of picks so there was going to need to be a way to uh, repair them and also our elytra as well because we do um, use that quite a bit to go up to the dig sort and back down so you are 
slowly losing your durability because you're only using slip touch picks. Uh, so we had to get a bunch of those. I think we had at some point like three shulkers or two to three shulkers of picks and a shulker of shovels. Uh, just for the dig, but that does not even close to enough to just, you know, run through them, so we do need a way to repair them. So we did a uh, portal pigman farm, so we didn't even turn up any mob switches or anything, and it is quite a cable. So you can have the repair mode here. Uh, that's not it, but the repair mode where it would swap the tool once it's fully repaired, and you can sit there with like a full inventory of picks and yeah, AFK repair them. So yeah, we have this one here. Um, this will lead to the portal where we go to the overworld side where we do the repair. And yeah, piston bolt obviously, so it's not too far, but it's you know still worth it. So we come to here, go through this portal, and then on the overworld side here, we'll get quite laggy, so you don't want to stay here too long. So the pigs, it seems that someone has left a lot of pigs here. Oh, never mind, the FSPD has went down. But yeah, um, so this is Il Mango's, uh, I think, I don't know what it's called, but I think it's his max gold or pigman portal farm. Uh, but yeah, so I don't want to stay here too long because these guys will pile up. And yeah, so basically have a bunch of portals here. I think it was in total like 12 shulker boxes of obsidian, something like that. Uh, we did just put a bunch of bots. Maybe we had five bots on the platform of the end platform. And we just had them uh, AFK there for quite some time. We have, I think, like a, quite a bit, almost a double chest full of shulkers of obsidian now. Plus all of the uh, obsidian we get from the barter, and that was pretty close, but we don't have to talk about that. So yeah, minecarts for used for the um, the pigmen there. And you can see it even breaks the sound engine, there's just so many things going on, but uh... But yeah, so this is a uh, Nango's design, and we just use it for some repairs. We can actually repair our picks, so let's just go do that. Be a bit careful here. Usually you will want a bow or something, but... Uh, this works as well. I'm just gonna turn our master all the way down. And then go sit down here. And you can see just how quick the uh, pick gets repaired. Now we do have XP no cooldown on the server, but it would still get repaired quite quickly here. So uh, yeah, do have 187 levels because I was uh, shattering myself with the gold farm. I think I had it 1700 levels at one point with a one like eight hour session at the farm on half speed. Uh, I think I got up to like 1700 levels and we used a bunch to create picks and stuff. So uh, yeah. So this is how we repaired pretty much all the picks. Didn't take too long to build at all. We're not putting too much into decoration uh, either. But yeah, we still have some, you can still have some obsidian here left over that I should probably take. Yeah, 48 beacons. Take the turtle eggs. But yeah, I got see, four shulkers with obsidian still here. And we are, I guess, I don't know why we're sort of collecting the items. It's like supposedly 1,200 ingots an hour. But uh, I have yet to see it be worth it, in a sense, because, I mean, it is a decent amount of nuggets, but we get that in pretty much a few seconds at the Elder Gold Farm. So uh, it's not too much to worry about, honestly. So, uh, yeah, that's how we repaired our picks, and also we have a return station on top, like every single one of our other piston bolts. Uh, we take this to the back, because you can't do two directional piston bolts, you need to have one for each direction. But yeah, that's how we repaired our picks. Now we can go back to uh, digging and do some time lapses here.
Alright, so the last clip we had was us basically around right about an hour or two into the dig. We did a bit of work on the perimeter. As in a bit, I mean we're already doing the floor deco. So we kind of went a little bit crazy, as you can see with the digs on the right there. Yeah, we have gotten quite some distance already. And yet, all in all, it didn't take as long as I thought, We've, especially the last two days. We've destroyed 36 layers in the past 48 hours. And most of that was not actual digging time. So it was probably about 20 hours, 24 max that we've actually just been digging in the past two days. So we kind of did some crazy, crazy things. And the floor deck was basically almost done. We just need to do the gray concrete connecting everything else. And then, yeah, that's done. We can do the walls then after that. And then we're good to go. So yeah, all in all, this has gone pretty quick. And yeah, so I just gotta do the walls and then everything's good. And then we're going to uh, get rid of, obviously, the top here, we're going to keep the dig sort there because it's going to have some items we're going to want to keep. But yeah, other than that, new member of Como, or his in game name is Benny, but uh, yeah, other than that, a lot, a lot of progress has been done and we're just pretty much in the home stretch for the deco already. So yeah, let's get to work on the rest of the deco. Alright, so uh, yeah, just like that, our perimeter is fully decorated. The floor took about well, about two hours, not including the glass on top. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it went quite, quite quickly uh, compared to some other decos that we've done before. But yeah, so we have the full walls all done. We have the glass on top of the floor there. And yeah, the little, he's a little uh, outline there. That's for the chunk loading area. So I marked that out just so it's easy to see. Uh, where the chunk loadable area, or the, chunk, the area that's going to be chunk loaded if we have all four farms running. If not, just divide that area up into four different quadrants, and then only each quadrant will be loaded. If you want to do one, two, three, or four, then that whole area will be loaded. Uh, but yeah, now it's time. As you can see in the back, we have a bunch of villager breeders. Since we do need to get about 500 villagers, and then like 24 or something uh, raiders were a bit preparing for that. But yeah, so we can now continue with the farm, which this looks really weird with the shaders here, but let's turn on ESL and see if that does any different. Nope, shadow still makes the glass look a bit of a different color. Kind of unfortunate, but uh, we had the screenshot already, so it doesn't really matter too much. But uh, yeah, so all in all, let's go see what our total blocks are that we've gotten or collected from this perimeter. So we'll start with the one everybody cares about, diamond ore. Uh, let's go clear out the filter. Besides one, just in case. So that right there is our diamond uh, ore haul from this. Lapis ore is a bit less uh, than diamond gold. It's not too bad, but pretty decent. Redstone's almost a full uh, double chest. The filter probably be close to a very full double chest there. Uh, coal ore, quite a bit. Ten shulker boxes. Uh, five irons, it's a bit low, but that's fine. A bunch of dirt, so we don't really need a dirt farm anymore. And a little bit of grass. And then we got some gravel, which don't really need because of the concrete duper. A uh, bit of granite, but I did see a box of diorite there. Right, a bit of diorite. Actually, a little bit more diorite than um, granite. Uh, Andesite actually has a bit more too. That's a bit weird. And then stone. These are all filled. We have stone here, here, and here. But uh, yeah, other than that, uh, it's all time to start the 
uh, actual fun, which will be the next episode. So, uh, yeah, a lot of grinding to do. And other than that, hit like, subscribe, all those sorts of things, and I'll see you in the next one.